Hey guys, have you ever heard of a lemniscate? No worries if you haven't, I was in the same boat until a few days back when I stumbled upon this term on MacNeil forum. Got me really intrigued so I decided to deep dive into it. Of course, who else would I turn to but ChatGPT for some assistance. First things first, let's unravel what this lemniscate thing is all about. So, it turns out that the lemniscate is actually a mathematical symbol representing infinity. Pretty cool, right? But I wasn't just satisfied with that. I want to see how we can generate it using Grasshopper. To do that, we had to grasp the concept of parametric equations and lemniscate curves and guess who had our back. Yeah, ChatGPT once again. All right, let's break it down. We got our X and Y values and two variables, A and T. Simple stuff, really. A stands for the distance from the origin to the point where the lemniscate intersects, determining uh, the curve size, and T, well, that's the range of numbers from 0 to 2 pi. The more numbers we have in this range, the more contour points our curve will have. Now let's jump into Grasshopper and see if we can bring this theory to life. Step 1. Using the expression components, where we'll type equation for the x coordinates. Remember, it's a times the cosine of t divided by 1 plus the sine of t squared. A little hiccup at first, but don't worry, we'll sort it out. Instead of x and y, we are plugging in a and t. Now for the y coordinates, it's a times the sine of t times the cosine of t divided by 1 plus the sine of t squared. Remember, a controls the curve size and t is our range of numbers from 0 to 2 pi. With me? Perfect. Now that we got our points, it's time to craft that lemniscate curve. But wait, let's take it up a notch. Ever thought about an 8-shaped ramp with multiple lemniscate curves? Sounds cool, right? To make that happen, we'll need to introduce Z coordinates. The number of points equals the number of these Z coordinates. The range component can help us set up the Z coordinates with maximum ramp height as the end of the domain. Now, 2 pi give us one full turn, but we can crank it up. 4 pi equals two turns, 5 pi is two and a half turns, six pi give us a solid three turns, and so on. All right, we crafted our eight shape spiral, but why stop there? Let's kick it up another notch and turn that spiral into ribbon surface. To do that, we need horizontal lines perpendicular to our spiral. These lines are born from horizontal frames. We are taking T parameter, from the curve closest point component. Now I'll take plane origin and move along y-axis in both directions with point-oriented components. Okay, the v-input is the y-axis and it is where we're setting the ramp width. And remember, we're grafting the list of points to move them in both directions. Now each branch has two points ready to make those polylines. lines. Time to unite these lines, lock them together, and boom, we got our surface. Oh, and to make things even slicker, you can add side surfaces. So get ready to extract all those edges with brap edges component and use match text to keep the non-line like curves. We're going to use invert pattern and top it off by giving them a Z directional extrusion. And voila, our ramp just got an upgrade. Hope this tutorial got your creative gear spinning and catch you next time with more Rhino and Grasshopper tutorials. If you want to go a step further, feel free to check our extended tutorial where we try to simulate marble run on lemniscate ramp. You can watch it on our Patreon page and support our work at the same time. With that, you will also get access to all of our other extended tutorials and project files. Take care.